Hello. I don't know why I've been starting with a Russian accent every time saying hello. But I have been. That's what I've been doing. It's been my MO for some reason. Yep, yep, that's me. That's two me's. Would you look at that? Oh, hey, three me's. Wow. Oh, God. What am I ever going to do? Welcome back to Mass Effect. I'm literally... A, it's fucking hot as shit down here. So I might be taking off the hat. Had to change into a crop top just to feel like I can get some cool air to me. It's not even that hot out anymore. It's only like 70 degrees, but... It still fucking sucks down here. So I might take the hat off. I might take the hat off. Oh, oh, that sounds loud. I don't know why, but that sounds loud. Um, sound. There we go. That's better. That is indeed better. But where we left off is, I just became a specter. Look at my beautiful face. Shadows are kind of messing it up. Sup, Garrus. Sup, Ashley. Still, oh, I just realized I still have to make a short today. <laughs> oh, it's okay. I have one picked out. I know when it'll be. I got it. That'll be no problem. Because I don't have to wake up early tomorrow. I don't remember what we were, where we were going, though. I'm guessing the Normandy. Excuse me, ma'am. Before I shoot you. Man. Water fountains. Same in space as they are on Earth. Just giant wastes of water. Although, unless it's reused. Unless it reuses its own water. That's a different story. I do not need directions, my guy. That is not what I'm needing today. Although, it might help. Well, it's called Hades. What do you expect? Why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. They got into a marital issue. There was a, there was a quarrel, and it was a marriage quarrel. I don't know what else to say. That's what it was. A marriage quarrel. I already examined you. Right, I could scan. Hey, look, it's Jellyfish, dude. Oh, are you two dating? That's nice. Are you talking politics? There's probably a lot of politics. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, who's talking? What's over there? I don't know what's over there. Financial district? Does that mean I can buy and sell shit? Eh, I don't care. I don't really care all that much. I'm guessing I'm going to the... I should check my journal. What am I doing? Um... Jesus. Um... This isn't... Is my codex what I'm supposed to be doing? No. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I wish I remembered. I really do. I also wish there was a stamina bar. Why isn't there a stamina bar? That's the most confusing bit. I'm going to go back to the embassy. I feel like that's my best bet at first. I don't know. I could have just gotten like the little tram down here, but sometimes it's nice to walk. Who the fuck is that, I wonder? Looks like Rex. Those are the same species, obviously. Don't ask Ashley, though. She say she, she'll say she doesn't know if he's an animal or not, or something like that. I really don't know if I'm supposed to be going back to the embassy right now, but hey, we're here. That's all that matters. We can check it out. Excuse me, door. Thank you. Thank you for moving, my friend. And it's this one, right? And there's no one here. Okay. I guess I gotta go back to the Normandy, probably. That would probably be what's next. What's over there? Oh, it's locked. It is indeed locked. Man, there's locked doors that you can't go in, even in space. I don't know, it almost feels like here there'd be more rules in space than there are on Earth. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Um, where's one of those... There it is. Transit thingies. Transit thingies. <clears throat> Can I choose to go... Is it in the wards? No. Back. I thought it said bank. I've always thought this said bank. Um... I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Maybe C -S Right, I'm supposed to go to C-Sec. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing! Exit. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Let's go, Shepard. With the glutes of a champion. I remember now. I remember now. I'm supposed to go to C-Sec. Do you feel that your training in the human military prepared you well for your duties, General Chief? Uh, trying to take down a rogue specter and his army of synthetics? No, they didn't cover this in Goshen. Nah, I'm assuming they wouldn't. Ashley, you don't gotta be so sarcastic all the time, though. Jeez. 
Jeez. So, um, where do I go? Down there? I don't know where to go. I'm guessing it's down here to this guy. Again. The requisition officer, dude. Hey, I'm a Spectre now. Hello, Commander. Spectre. Uh, this isn't it, then. I think I'll be going. Sure thing, Commander. You have a good day now. You too, my guy. I appreciate you, requisition officer. That's, that's not my name. Requisition officer, my guy! That's not my name. That's probably what happens, right? Should I go up this way? Hmm. I wish I could read that. Or is that just design? I don't know if it's alien words or designs. Hello, I'm guessing this is where we're supposed to be. Yes. Sorry, he's Canadian. Jaleed's Canadian. That's a side quest. You know what? I'll go with him. I will go with him. Hey there. Oh, you're not Tsek, are you? I ever heard you. What were you trying to explain to the officer before? Ah, Shepard's voice. My colleague is trying to kill me. Yep. And I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. Mm. Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. Man, I like these guys' designs. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. What do you need? Something I can do? Talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. I'll stick a gun down his he mouth. He can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? I'll talk to him. Tell me where he is, and I'll go find him. Oh right. Oh well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the market. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. Hmm. His name's Shorban. Yep, He's Shorban. Valerian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Shorban. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. Really? The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I better look into this right hmm. now. Find out what he's up to. This just got more interesting. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Hmm. Well, good luck. Well, things just got a whole lot in more interesting. Let's get to Shorban. My boy, the wards... He said the markets, right? By the wards? Can I get easily there through the transit system, or do I gotta walk someplace? Okay, wards. There should be a market, right? Markets. Let's get going. Let's uh, get uh, going. Wow, that was a long, that was a long uh, loading screen. I forgot what it was called. Shorbin. Shorbin. Ooh, can I not scan them anymore now that we're against Shorbin? Or whatever the fuck is it? I already kind of forget how to pronounce his name. Is that bad? Where did he want to meet that boy? Down by the markets, he said. So it could be over here. I think it was... We met him by the Citadel Towers. Right? So... You know... Part of me wants to assume that that's where he'd be. But he also said he wants him to meet him down by the markets. So, like, that's where I am. Huh. Tricky, tricky, tricky. Oh. Oh. Was there a boss fight coming up in this place? Sheesh. Sheesh. You're not sure, man. No, 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 no. Hey, Justin, how you doing, my guy? Hope your day is well. Yet again. That's X-Bat. Um, maybe this way? Yeah, maybe down here. Okay. This seems more like the sketchy place where you try to murder someone. 
This seems way more like it. Oh, never mind. This is... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh there's Shorbin. There is Shorbin. Hey, dude. Commander, I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? The truth. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... We're not buying it. Jaleed told us you've been after it. You spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Not yet. But you're going to tell me everything. You boys can go. Oh. Oh. Looks like my plans have changed. Shit, he had boys. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. Keep talking. <laughs> the company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. I see. Jaleed and I saw even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan <coughs> the keeper. <clears throat> can you imagine? A tool that can actually get readings from the keeper? What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. Interesting. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Wow. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. So that's cool. We can do it. Doing the grass. See, I did the um, I did the asphalt one, the road one, and on the track I have the world record on until I'm six in the world right now. <laughs> In like 20 minutes, I got six places in the world on that. There's that definitely more. Explain why you're trying to kill your partner. I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. So you're just trying to get back what Jaleed already stole. You're going to do road later tonight? It's fun. Pretty easy, though, I'd say. an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander. If you just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. You were stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? Huh. See, I want... I want to side with Shorbin. I do, actually. I suppose a little scanning here and there won't hurt anyone? No. Oh, good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Of course. I'll go have a chat with him yes, right now. okay. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. But yeah, I got all golds on um, road now. I say it took me an hour and a half to get gold on all of them. Where am I going? Where am I? Aha, yes, I'm this way. This is where I want to go. Up the stairs. Man, if this advanced ancient... Or advanced alien civilization has stairs but not escalators. It must mean that escalators are worse, right? If you think about it. Did I scan that guy? Or can I just not scan him? If you think about it. Grassy is easy for author time. I have all of them. Jeez. Wow. There are some um, author times on the road that are just ridiculously easy as well. Um, oh, wrong button. I meant to hit that button. <laughs> running, running, running. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jaleed. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yes. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? Mm. What about the keeper data? Uh, he told you? Of course! I didn't mean for any of this to happen. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of him. Oh. Relax. I'm scanning the keepers for Shorbin, but you two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? Yes! But... So stop not helping! Well, if you say so. Last one's tricky. Interesting. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. Oh, okay. Jaleed. Indeed. Well done. Ah. Other than that, I didn't struggle for any. Was surprised I got all the time on a few. There were some golds where I'm like, I crashed into two walls. What are we doing here? So I... Back to finding the armory for the... Spectres. Um, can I talk to any of you? Who are you? 
Hello, Commander. Hey. Can't help you right now. All right. Is he just? Was he just on his phone? I think that guy was just on his phone. You should try Tarkov. I have no idea what that is. I feel like I should know what that is. Oh, hello, Keeper. Don't mind if I touch your booty a little bit. I feel like I really should know what Tarkov is. Alright, I guess this way wasn't the way. I like how they have a soccer retreat here. Kind of nice. Kind of peaceful. Maybe it's up the elevator. I'm going to try down the blue ways. These are blue ways. Maybe this is the Spectre area. Maybe... No, this is an elevator. This is an elevator. So, I've been up down there, so I guess I have to go up this elevator. Oh, is this the docking bay? I'm so confused on where to go. Maybe I do go up that elevator. No, it's the wharves. I'm so confused. Um... Do I know where I'm supposed to go? I wish I could zoom in and out, but uh, those buttons are broken. Those buttons are broken. Where? No, not squad. Journal. Missions. Okay. Um, expose Saren. Speak to the ambassador. Okay, I'm supposed to go to the docking bay. Okay. Okay, I found it. I found everything. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. Ah. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. I see. I see. Ah, there they are. Hey, weenies. I've got big news for you, Shepard. Captain Anderson is stepping down as commanding officer of the Normandy. What? I actually kind of like Shepard. I just hate Udina. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feed her well, Commander. This isn't right. The Normandy belongs to you. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. Come clean with me, Captain. You owe me that one. Yeah. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, Sagan. They were considering me for the Spectre this time. What happened? Yeah, what happened? What went wrong? I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Indeed. I had my shot. It came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistake. I won't let you down, sir. No, you won't. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The Condor. He's got his Geth scouring the Traverse looking for clues. We had reports of Geth in the Ferros system shortly before our Ferros. colony there dropped out of contact. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Interesting. Find out what Saren was after. Of course, Noveria. Noveria. Indeed. Maybe you can figure out where the Conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. Indeed. I'm with the Council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. Really? But if they do exist... The conduit's the key. So I don't like Udina. It's an asshole. Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Matriarch Benezia, the other mm. voice on that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist who specializes in the Protheum. Of course. We don't know if she's involved, but it might be a good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara, Dr. Liara Tassoni. We have reports she was exploding. I thought that said exploding. Dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. I'll start there. Sounds like we should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. <coughs> you don't answer to us. Your actions still reflect on humanity as a whole. You make a mess, and I get stuck cleaning it up. I'll be careful. I'll try not to make things any harder on you, Ambassador. Glad to hear it, Commander. Remember, you were a human long before you were a Spectre. Debatable. I have a meeting to get to. Captain Anderson can answer any Debatable. questions you might have. You heard me. 
Anderson. Yes, Commander. You okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. I get You're that. You're the one who can stop Sam. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. What do you know about the Artemis Tau Cluster? I feel like going through the dialogue is good, even though it keeps me silent. I feel bad. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colony. Interesting. Might not be easy finding Dr. Bassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Protean ruins. Okay, I'm there leaving. I'm leaving now. Here if you need anything. Thank you. Oh, 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 hold on. Huh. What is it, Ashley? We're here to scan keepers. That's all we're here to do. This is quite the view, Commander. Indeed. It's so peaceful up here. I, I want to talk to Garrus. Very romantic. Oops. You're into that sort of thing. Jesus Christ, Ashley. Keep it in your pants. I used to have an office here. Right here? Spent half my time doing payroll work. Ew. Gross. Anything else, Garrus? You always see a few civilians hanging around the academy waiting to speak to an officer about some problem or other. Okay, well, we're not there right now. We're not there. We're at the Normandy. That's a completely different location. Hey, super kid, how you doing, my guy? How's your day slash night been? Normandy, 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 it's my ship. I own a spaceship. Stand by shore party. Okay. Decontamination in okay, we we were on the citadel. I don't think we really need to contaminate it. I I guess it, I guess you could. I heard what happened to Captain Anderson. He survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Indeed. Just watch your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on their chopping block. Saren's out there somewhere. Yeah, we're good. And we're gonna find. We got out. this. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. Hundred percent. That, that's Spectre to you, Joker. Stop. It, it's Spectre, Shepard. I'm going to be honest. We're going Paragon here today. Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. Mm. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. Wherever Saren goes, we'll follow. Wherever mm -hmm. he searches for the conduit, we'll be there. We will hunt him to the very ends of the galaxy and bring him down. This is the most important mission any of us have ever been on. Indeed. The fate of an entire galaxy is at stake. Oh, look at her. We will stop Sarah, no matter what the cost. Rex. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Fancy speeches won't stop Saren from finding the conduit. We really want to make. Got to play the stone cold badass, you know. Yes, sir. What's the point of role playing if you're not gonna be the cool badass character? Am I right? I only got two Paragon for that speech. I feel like I should have gotten more for that. I don't know. That's just like a regular old dialogue option. No, I, I just... Bitch, I, I just made a whole compelling speech that gave myself goosebumps. Like, what the fuck? Like, the fuck? Navigator Presley, my boy! My boy! If anyone has to take over for Captain Anderson, I'm glad it's you. I'm not sure about having non-humans on your ship, though. We're all on the same team here, Presley. With all due respect, sir, that's what they said about Nihilus. Look how that turned out. Speak freely, Presley. I want to know if you have a problem with non-humans. Indeed. It's not that, Commander. Humanity has always handled its own problems. Saren attacked one of our colonies. We should be the ones to stop it. We don't need their help. This is bigger than humanity. Saren's a threat to every species in the galaxy. And I'll welcome anyone who wants to help me bring him down. Is that a little aggressive? So. Maybe I'm just stuck in the old ways of thinking. But don't worry, Commander. This won't be a problem. How did you end up assigned to the Normandy? Indeed. I signed up with the Alliance as a navigator... I've been saying indeed way too fucking much. ...by the Twitch that took us. My first posting was on the Agincourt. Ah. We were one of the first reinforcements to arrive at Elysium after the Blitz hit. <laughs> Those raiders were no match for an Alliance frigate. Of course, the only reason the colony was still standing was because of you, Commander. I can't believe you held out as long as you did. How'd you end up on the Normandy? 
I got my eyes I, I just asked that. Elysium. I just asked that. Impression on the right people. Captain asked for me when he was picking his crew. All right, see you. Yes, sir. Hey, I got some Paragon for that. I was actually worried I would get some, uh, something else. Some Renegade. I can't remember Renegade. That word is so difficult for me for some reason. I don't even know where I'm going right now. Is this Medbay? There's an elevator. Um, Hayden, my boy. I haven't seen you in a while. Boo. This is awkward. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Mm. You've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. We'll have time for personal debriefings later. What's your opinion on the last week? I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Five sooner. Mm. We were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could. We'll All talk right. Another time. I guess he doesn't want to talk. Hayden is is not a talker today. Oh, I have a locker. I don't need any of those. Um, I guess I'll just take all them. I guess I'll just take all whatever. I couldn't back out apparently. I can sleep. Why would you sleep? Is that saving or something? Is that like a mega save? Oh, there's the doctor. I was looking around for people at this point. See where they're hiding. Anyone? I want to explore the whole Normandy at this point. I didn't really do that last time, but now I kind of really get the chance to like flesh it out and just know. All right, downstairs, eating, sleeping, and medical. Excuse me, door. Pardon me. Pardon me, door. Thank you. All right. Now, this way was communications. Okay. Okay. I'm kind of describing these like they're Among Us rooms. <laughs> All right. This is comms. And then we got, uh, we got med bay. Where's security? Oh, wait. What am I doing? I'm an idiot. I'm big dumb. Excuse me, door. Pardon me. Pardon me. I guess we'll get on. We'll get on with it. Zoom out. Zoom out. Where am I going? Um, Veros, Nevada. We are a dig site. Um, it was something else, wasn't it? Oh, whoops. Whoopsie daisies. Um, what's this? What's this? Hawking, Kelper, Armstrong, Pharos, Voyager, 80s. Oh, this is it. Right? Wait, what? Oh, we gotta check all the planets, right? Where should we start? Where do you think we should start? Athens, Macedon, 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 Sparta, Knossos, Knossos, Knossos. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce that. Where do you think we should start? I wonder. This game is incredibly quiet or incredibly loud. It feels like there's no in between. Sometimes the music's like really quiet and I can't hear it, and or other times it's just like this. Blasting my fucking ears out. I don't know why, but I'm feeling Sparta. I'm feeling pretty Sparta-ish. Who knows? Yeah, let's just go to Sparta. Let's do that. It's the first one. Here we go. 30 minutes into the stream, now we're actually going to play the rest of the game instead of just talking to everyone. Talking to everyone's been fun and all, but time to go shoot some people. Because that's half of the game. Okay, uh... Wow. 
there's a lot to explore here. Uh, let's start... I think Alatia would be the best place to start. Or Altea. Altaya. Large terrestrial world with a trace atmosphere of methane and ammonia. Wow. The surface is frozen and mainly composed of sandstone. Orbital period, 18.1 Earth years. Radius, blah, 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 blah. What cataclysm stripped the atmosphere and left the planet to freeze is not yet known. Oh, can I not go to these planets? Commander, I'm oh, up a signal from Jesus the Christ. Surface. It scared me. It's like an automated distress beacon. It's a terrestrial planet with an atmosphere of carbon dioxide and nitrogen. Adelis's surface is covered by wide deserts and silicate sand, with only a few areas of indig ing igneous rock highlands to break the abrasive dust-choked wind. Adelis's orbit is congested with debris thrown inwards by the gravity of the gas giant Antamalka. Due to high rate of meteor impacts, exploration is highly dangerous. 50 Earth hours is a day. Wow. Imagine. Imagine the day was twice as long. That sounds like a nightmare to me. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Um. I kind of want to take Ashley and Rex. And Tally might be good, but I just kind of want... Ashley does damage. Like, she do damage. It's kind of nutty. She does so much damage. Bro, would something like that even work in like something like our gravity? In our atmosphere? Would you be able to... I guess you would. Oh shit, that got loud. Okay, so I'm guessing I'm going this way. Can I drive like faster? No. No, no, no. I like how I can just occasionally propel myself up words <laughs> I'm guessing it's this way yeah 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 yeah, yeah. what is that what is that that looks like what we're looking for it's an alliance machine oh what the fuck Wait, I can repair this with what? What, <laughs> what happened? I'm so confused. Hey, I can repair the fucking car with Omni Gel, which repairs me. So I don't get that. So are we going this way again? Yes. So are we supposed to kill that? Oh yeah, I, I can't access the weapons with my broken buttons. All too, all too well. That's not all that reliable. Sorry, I'm having fun with the noise. I'm having a lot of fun with that noise. So I'm guessing I do have to kill that. Ooh, ask a meteor. There's a medical kit there. Can I hit it, please? Can I hit the button? Okay, please. Please button. Okay, I guess it's not going to work then. I hit Y. Please. 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 Please chill. Holy shit. That thing is scary. Ah, you missed. Oh god, you hit me that time. Okay, this is going to go so poorly for me. I suck at this shit. Oh god, it's moving. Oh, guys, moving over there. Okay, it's over there. It's over there. We're doing it this time. We're oh, shit. I need to repair. I need to repair. I hit Y! It's over there now. 
Holy shit, I did not get much health back. I'm too far away. I'm about to die, aren't I? I feel like I'm about to die. Is it trying to chase me a little bit? Am I too far away? Oh, I almost had a sick dodge. Oh my god, this thing is so hard to kill. For me, at least. Oh god, why are you going underground again? Hey, I actually hit it with that one. I could actually press the button that time. Okay, okay, okay. It's almost dead, kind of. Where are you? Where'd it go? It's not done, is it? Yep, no, 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 no. No, 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 Not done. Not done. Oh, I missed. Fuck. I hit it with that. I'm about to die, though. I can't. I can't get hit again. I gotta kill it. Yes! Yes! Wait, no, it's not dead? There we go. He's dead now. Okay, we're out. I could have gotten out for all that, I guess, but... Sheesh. Maybe. Maybe Lord, or they were the ones who said it. I do. I see. I uh, see. Does that mean we need to deactivate the beacon? Or what? What now? Ready. Rex? Okay. So is it here we want to be, or... Wow, this thing's almost destroyed. Can I please repair it? Like, pretty please. Hello? Uh, I'm trying to hold... Hello, please. Thank you. Thank you, weird camera angle. Okay, chill. Chill. Literally, I don't know what it wants me to do right now. The X is right here. But there's nothing to do. Hold on. That tells me nothing. That tells me nothing. But, no. I'll just get into the vehicle and drive away, see what happens. See if we blow up, too. So am I supposed to leave this planet? Is that, was that it? Was, was, was that it? I'm so confused. I mean, like, we're, we, we did it, but, like, what am I supposed to do? I mean, obviously not run over the dead Marines. Okay, can I please? Thank you. Thank you. What are we supposed to do? Are we supposed to just leave the planet? Did not mean to do that. Uh, yeah, let's return to Normandy. I don't know what we're doing here anymore. <laughs> Unless that was a ba bad decision. Maybe I should have stayed there. Um, this is a gas giant, right? I can survey it. Hydrogen. Okay. Alright. What's this one? I can survey this one as well. Can I survey all of them now? No. Let's zoom out again. Okay. To this one we go. Hmm. 
I don't know why that felt so out of place. It felt more like a cutscene than a loading screen. Level 1 pressure hazard. Its temperature surface is mainly composed, or tempera surface is mainly composed with alumina, deposits of sulfur. Uh, I'll look at a different planet first. Oh god, this one's only surveyable. Matriarch's writings recovered. Interesting. Very interesting. Nah, nothing here. Not anything here. Uh, survey. Gas deposits. So we can actually land on this planet, so let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. See what happens. Um. This time we'll bring Tali and Ashes so we can have the best of both worlds. Pack and combat. Even though I'm pretty much all combat myself, so... We pretty much got two combat, one tech. I don't know what level one hazard means. But I'm assuming since we started pointing this way, we should go this way. Oh, I see on the minimap just a little arrow. Tiny little arrow. Unless that's pointing north. I could just be pointing north. For all I know. I always feel like these jets will help, but they always hinder me. They always hinder me. I still want to know what level 1 hazard means. Okay, what are we coming up on here on the right? What are we coming up on here? There's some. Is this something I'm going to have to kill again? Is that what this is? I feel like that's what this is. Hmm. Oh, look at that. Look at that helmet. That's a cool helmet. Electronic skill too low. Okay. Ready. No, it's not. Say the word. It's not what I want. I, I want I want to get into my vehicle. Thank you. Thank you. Is there anything over here? I don't think so. No, no, no. I want to head this way. I want to head this way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I seriously have no idea where I'm going. Anomaly stronghold. Okay. Okay. We'll go this way. We'll go this way and just chill. Have a good time. Does this button even do anything? No. That one does something. I can kind of hit this button. Kind of. But not really. Not really. Buttons are difficult when they're broken. What can I say? What can I say? Oh, there's enemies over there. There are enemies over there. Enemies over there. Enemies over there. Let's get some cover. Should I get out? I think I should get out. Can I get out here? Yes, I can. Okay. So I don't know what kind of enemies these are going to be, but they're going to be enemies. And there should be some over here. It says Stronghold, right? Let me... I gotta go on my mouse to cycle through weapons, which really sucks. I don't see anyone. I don't see anyone. That's weird. Oh, wait. There they are. Oh, I got one. Holy shit. How'd they shoot me from here? From there. They're like little peas. They're so hard to see. Wow, they are... This is hard. Wow, they do damage. I was gonna say, I'm scared to poke my head out.
Let's resume. Maybe I shouldn't fuck with those people. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should just stick to going there. Maybe I should just stick to going there. <laughs> it's the anomaly instead of the stronghold. On the level one hazard planet. Whatever that means. No clue what that means. But they were fucking hitting me. I thought I was being sneaky with a sniper rifle that I'd have a pretty easy time hiding from them. No, they just fucking headshot me. What fucking pistols, my guy. They got aimbot, dude. Let's get them banned. Let's get them banned. That'll be good. I like how there's a smoother path, yet I'm taking the rougher, hillier, bumpier path. My crew must hate me. They must hate me at this point. Like, I don't blame them, though. You know? Bumpy rides suck ass. And if they hate me, that's okay. I'll make it bumpier. <laughs> Yay, we're here! We made it to the anomaly! It's right up there. Oh, it's a cave! That looks like a cave. Or a rock. I can't tell. It's one of the two. It's a rock. Sadly, that's... It's a tent? It's a tent? Ooh, what's over there? What is this? These are a bunch of... Hold on. Map? Map? Okay, good, good, good. Good, good, good. It's gone. The waypoint is gone. Happy about that. Very happy about that, indeed. What are these? An Asari capsule? Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. It's not clear who lived here, but it appears to have been abandoned for some time. The container in the tent held, among other things. What a matriarch. Damn. The major arc did a ton of shit here. A ton of shit in the system, apparently. A couple things. Let's go back to the Normandy so we can go check out what's over there. We get a better mini map. We're in the Normandy. Or the, the Mako. The Mako. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. I'm no good at words. What I am good at, apparently, is attracting flies. I complain about it every stream, but they're fucking everywhere. They're goddamn everywhere. I hate it. It's my fault because I kind of leave the door open for Kaya. If she wants to come in, she has the option. Is this another thing I needed electronics for? Survey mineral. Interesting. Interesting. I'm gonna be rich, dude. Um, so is that everything except for the stronghold that I... Alright, let's go back to the Normandy. Let's return to the Normandy and get out of the star system. It obviously has nothing for us. Obviously does not have the main quest here. Oh, okay. Um, back out. Back out. We'll go up here next. We'll go to Athens next. Have a good time there. You know, go to Greece. Have a great time. I want to go to Greece. Greek food sounds great. Nothing we can do here. Nothing we can do. What about here? Nope. Nope. We can't even survey these places. What the hell? What the hell? Alright, we can survey this one. Oh, it's Circe. Gas deposit. Helium 3. Hmm. Interesting. Another surveyable planet. Is 90% oceanic cover. Interesting. Large amounts of free oxygen. Wow. Wow. What haven't I looked at? This one back here. Pharos. Another surveyable one. Um, is that it? Is that it? I already looked at this one, right? Yeah, what the hell? This, this system has nothing. Absolutely nothing. Whack. Whack. All right, I mean, it had us right here. Nope, nope, okay. Okay, what about this greeny one? It's pretty and green. Okay, no, nothing, nothing, nothing. Theorem. Ooh, we can land on this one. Let's check it out. Theorem is a distant but rich industrial world claimed by the Human System Alliance. Its plentiful heavy metals have fueled the recent manufacturing boom on Earth. Hmm. We'll land here once we check out the others. Anything over here? Yes, indeed. Survey. What do you got, pal? Wow, big gas. We got big gas on that planet. 
Is that the conspiracy against the planet? It's a big gas planet. They're all out to get your gas. Uh, you know what? Rex and Garrus, you're coming along this time. We got the boys. I never bring Caden, apparently. I don't know, he's just not interesting. He's just not. And he's very salty about how I don't bring him on missions anymore. He writes me all the time. What a landing. What a fucking landing. I'm picking up some strange readings. Really strange, like off the damn charts. What charts and what readings? From an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. And that would be where? Okay, so we just gotta keep following. Can I drive on lava? Yes! Yes, I can. Just skip a whole goddamn part of the fucking... Just skip that bitch. Because we're... Yeah, we just skipped this whole part. Yay! Now I'm going to save again. On Theorem. Is Theorem where we're supposed to be? Is that where we're supposed to be? Maybe. Maybe. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. That, you're just gonna take it? He's just gonna sit there and take it, I guess. Bitch. Take that. Ah! Not into the lava. Not into the lava, please. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, a bit of a fight, it seems. Just a bit of a fight. They're gonna be directly ahead of us. Did I just get shot at, or is that my car? Oh god, just saved. Oh. Only a fool. Sneak around and pull its tail. I have no idea what that means, Rex. I mean, I do, but I don't. Wait, you're telling me I couldn't sh shoot that bullet? I couldn't shoot it out of midair? That's kind of frustrating. Oh, well, bullet, missile, same thing. Um, So you're saying go over here. Is that what he's saying? It's just another turret. It's just another turret. Should we get out at this point, or do you think we're safer here? I think we're safer in the vehicle. Nah, bro, you can't deal with us. There's someone up there. Okay, okay, this is be you're rude. Whoever's doing that is being very rude right now. You are all extremely rude and arrogant, and it's really upsetting to deal with. And I wish you'd all a happy die. Wow, thanks for coming out. You, you died faster than the rest. Where the hell did this one go? See inside? They look like they're inside. You know what? Let's get on out. Show them what it's like to have a happy birthday. And by happy birthday, I mean I'm going to shoot him. I knew you were in here. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Nice. Is any of that better? Okay, recovered items. Um... Eh, no. Eh, no. 112.457.
Nah. 73 to 52. The Reaper 2 ain't bad. But the accuracy is worse, but I mean, it's only by. Nah. I think we're good as is. Let's go to squad, see what we can update. Let's go up there. Um, restores dead squad members. Let's go up to that. Yeah, let's do that. Um, soldier does... Okay. You know what? Fuck it, let's go all the way up on soldier. Get that big health. Get that big, big health. Let's move one up on pistols as well, because we use a lot of pistols. Hey, thanks, Rex. I appreciate that. I fell. I almost got stuck. That could have been embarrassing. This is the gate control. Ooh. Nice. Okay. Shit. Didn't mean to do that. I wish there was a jump button. I really do. And if there is, I don't know about it. I do not know about it. Where's Garrus? Oh, he's behind us. He is behind us. Where's the Normandy? Where did I park that bitch? Outside? Ah, damn. Did I park that bitch over there? I'm sorry, what was that plasma container itself? Oh, no, it's over here. I parked that bitch right there. Mini-map. The mini-map is helpful, let me tell you. Let me tell you what. What's that? What's that? Crate? Never mind. Distractions. Distractions. I don't even see what that was. I just clicked A way too fucking fast. We'll look at it later. We'll take a look at that later. Backing up. Backing up. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh, look at that turn. Uh, hello? I heard something. I indeed heard something. Ah! <laughs> Yo, I'm terrible at driving this thing. I really am. Always have been. I don't even know if I'm going the right way anymore. I think I am. Am I supposed to go down this way? I think I'm supposed to go down this way. Because if I remember correctly, this will be looping back. Into the can Map time. Okay, I mean, we're still going the same. We're still going the right way. That's fine. We're going the right way. Oh. That's the... Do you know how smart I am, you guys? Do you know how smart I am? I'm like... Smart, smart, bro. I'm the smartest smart man of the smart world. What? Where are you? Where the fuck are you? There you are. There you are. Well, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, and uh, thank you. What? No. Oh, yeah, a bit late to that, Rex. A bit late to that comment. He was already dead. I thought you were saying the gate was dead, and I'm like, that's it's not how this works, Rex. But nope, nope. He kind of knows what he's talking about at this point. The Geth is indeed dead. All right, let's actually get on with this. Let's move forward. Whee! Imagine how annoying that would actually be. The suspension of this thing must be fucking insane. Oh, hello, you want to fight me alone? Is that really what you want to do, my friend? Really? Oh, you weren't alone. Technically. I mean, there's that guy over there. I don't, I don't know how much help he's going to be. Oh, he... I guess I can't do damage. Oh, no, I did damage. I did the damage. That's what's important. Wow, you get so many meta gels. So many. I don't remember getting this many. Maybe I was just bad. And I needed a fucking ton when I played this at first. It's been so long since I played Mass Effect. But in retrospect, compared to other games, not that long. Oh, did he just drop off some dudes? He indeed just dropped off some dudes. Indeed, he dropped off some fucking dudes. I mean, I'll just take you on. And you're dead. And... You're... Dead. Oh, you can't hit me from here? Where are you? Okay. 
Okay, I'm driving straight into the fucking missiles. Bro, you should be dying like paper. There you go. Oh, those things are much bigger than I... Come on. Stupid button. I hate broken buttons. What the fuck? It's not working. There's that button working. There we go. Okay. Okay, that button's kind of reliable-ish. Get out of my way, bitch. Get out of my way. Alright, up we go, I guess. Snake our way into there. Well, I can't fly in here, sadly. The suspension of the gods. I wish I could just drive straight. I wish I was good at that. When all six wheels can turn, it's kind of, you know, a bit weird. You got six... You got eight... Yeah, six-wheel drive. Can I just run you over? Yes, I can. Okay, good to know. Good to know. Are we in the right place? That looks like where we need to go next. But... What's over here? Anything? No? Nothing? Nothing at all? Same with over here. Is this just kind of like... Nothing? Okay. Okay. I mean, it's not nothing, obviously. It's adding to the world. But, like, it's nothing for me to collect. I can jump these rocks. Nope. 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 But technically, I made it over them. But I didn't jump them. I jumped off of them. Another tunnel! Secret tunnel. Secret tunnel. You know, if the Geth were smart, they'd collapse the tunnel. Although it's not really a tunnel. Oh, hey. Hey, you two. Stay down. Stay down. Oh, Alright, we got another one coming up. Which one are you? Bro, imagine seeing this. You're facing down your death, and it's this car running you over. That's just terrifying stuff, man. You don't matter, my guy. I'm sorry. You don't stand a chance. Oh, God. Apparently, I don't stand a chance against myself. That's what I'm learning today. Um. Oh. Oh. Does that mean I have to get out? I think that means we have to get out. I'm go the rest on foot. I ain't fucking around with this. This sounds scary to me. Rally round. I wish I could cycle through my weapons. I really do. Can y'all show yourselves? Stop being cowards. Please show yourselves. Please? Can I hit you, please? Alright, let's just charge. If they're gonna be weak about this, let's just... No, no, use, use. No, no, this is what I... was not what I want. This is not what I want. Alright, can I shoot, please? Thank you. We handled it. We all handled that, right? Aw, oh, thanks, Garrus. Isn't it lovely? It's a lovely place. I'd love to set up a vacation home here. Am I earning Rex's trust yet? <laughs> Where are their enemies? Oh, yep. Well, hold on. Oh, I missed. Fuck. That should kill him, right? Rex needed some healing. Okay. Okay, we're switching on back. Jump! 
Just more damage per second. You know. Should we just charge? Why aren't you two covering? Do I need to order them? Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, shit. We need... I, I let Rex go down. Can we please? Can we please, sir? How do I get Rex back up? Oh, can I not? Did I just let Rex die, or is he just down? I think he's just down, right? Okay, can this guy die? Thank you. Where, where's the other? Not really in my view. Garrus, don't get taken down. I'm counting on you, buddy. Counting on you. Come on, die. I know I'm at far range, and that's why it's doing no damage. So I should. I'm just trying to get my pistol out here. Okay. Pistol's going to be more effective in this situation. I do not see them. There they are. Okay, that's one down. Alright. Can I revive Rex? Oh, we're doing okay. Wow, even you think it's hot, my guy. <laughs> Alright, we made it out of that. We did it. Let's meta gel everyone on up. Alright, there's an enemy up there. Enemy over there. Man, pistols feel so good in this game. They really do. Right, there's gonna be someone right there. Alright! So I'm guessing we still need to head up this way. Is where we're supposed to go? Towards the refinery? What other geth are we looking at here? How many more? Man, this game is fun. I'm just glad I can play it. I mean, there is a part of me that almost regrets starting a stream series, so I could just play it casually. But also, like, it's also going to be great to have this. Oh, cutscenes. Cutscenes. Means I've made important progress. That's terrifying. Absolutely fucking terrifying. It's like it's pooping them out. Okay. This escalated. We need to take out support. Holy shit. Okay. I don't know what button I'm trying to hit. That's the button I'm trying to hit. Holy shit. I don't know if I can do this. I'm already being intimidated the fuck out of. They're already, like, fucking me up, dude. Holy shit, dude. I can't... Uh, I feel like I'm losing out of... I'm, I'm dead. I'm so dead right now. Come on, kill it, kill it, kill it. Okay, I killed one. Garrus, how are you so healthy right now? I wish I had Ashley instead of Rex. Okay, we can heal. No, get, get back behind the cover, you dummy. All right, we dealt with those. We dealt with those. We're going to start getting less fire. Okay, we can calm down a little bit. I'm out of meta gels. I can't say it because I'm in combat. Why am I missing that so many times? Holy shit. How am I going to get healing? Oh, I heal health back slightly over time. Okay. Okay. 
I'm guessing not to full. Okay, so one there and one there. I don't know if there are any more. But this requires... Yeah. Oh. Okay, then. Okay, okay, okay. I know how to handle this better. I was very overwhelmed when that first happened. Stop popping! Yo, what are you doing right there, dude? Oh, fuck. Dude, no wonder they're doing so much damage. Okay, we killed that one. There's another one on top. Okay, now I know I can deal with you, though, if you're just going back and forth from there to there. Dude, they're everywhere. Holy fuck. They're both down? Garrus and Rex are both down right now? Yo, what the fuck did I do to deserve this? What the fuck did I do to deserve this? Uh, maybe bringing Rex was a problem. I'm gonna try and do this at a different angle. Yo, Garrus, chill. Garrus, chill. Wow, they're everywhere. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, he's dead. He's dead. I mean, if the Geth are gonna be that fucking spicy about it, then we can beat them. Get away, you bitch. Okay, we killed him. We killed him. We need to deal with the dudes in the towers. We need to deal with the dudes in the towers. Okay, that's not how you do it, though. What? Okay, going over here was an advantage. It was easier, slightly. Just shoot it, what the fuck? Just start killing those motherfuckers. Those wily coyote motherfuckers. God, my fucking weapon. What? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Not the sniper. Ooh, shotgun maybe. No, that's not the shotgun. Okay, where the fuck is it? Where the fuck are you? Holy shit. Holy shit. I can't tell where they are. They're moving way too fast. Dude, you had to stand right in front of my shotgun blast? Garrus is... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Where'd that fucker go? Where'd that little fucker go? He's right over here. He's right over here somewhere. He's... What? A bit... bit this is unfair. That's not gonna do any damage worthwhile. I do need to go back to my assault rifle. Even though it's not going to do the best at the range that I'm at. But maybe if we can advance somehow. Bitch, can, can you stop hopping everywhere? Definitely got to make sure I dodge those. Yeah. 
Yeah, gotta make sure I don't get hit by those. Okay, we need to advance, I think. Dude, that's so unfair that that's a fucking one-shot. Like, holy fuck. That's so unfair that that's a one-shot. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Really? That's gonna defend him? No, stop, stop. I don't want the po The poles can't really defend me. Ho holy fuck, they jump around too much. It feels like they jump around way too much. This might be where I get stuck. For the first time. Dude, it's just so difficult to keep up with them. That's why the description says I suck at shooters, man. Garrus is dead? Yeah, this one's a failure, too. I mean, these guys, I wish I had the tank. I'll heal you, Rex, because you matter a bit too much. I can't keep up with them. All right, fine. Oh, almost got hit by that. How are you not dead? Holy shit. I wish they could just stop. I was waiting for one of you to jump there. Okay. There's one more. I can't wait to not hear that fucking noise anymore, dude. Where are you? Where did you go, little dude? Where'd that little fucker go? Oh, that's Rex. Okay, that's dead. Cool. Now we can focus on other stuff. Make sure I don't get hit by that shit. Okay, you're dead. I wish I could save. I wish I could save scum a little bit. Okay, I think I need to switch to my sniper. This is gonna be tough. Okay, he's dead. Can you please show yourself? Please show yourself, sir. Alrighty then. Alrighty then, if you're not gonna... I wonder if that's actually doing damage to the thing. I wish I could tell. I wish its health bar was up instead of the stupid Geth Trooper. But I'd like to assume this is doing damage. Okay. Okay. Not coming out? Just gonna let me do this? You're just gonna let me do this? Okay then. I hope this is actually doing damage and I'm not just wasting my time. Okay, went a bit too fast. Went a bit too fast. Where is Garrus' body? Where'd he go? I mean, I'm definitely... It's saying I'm hitting it. It's registering that I'm hitting him. 
since you can tell the marker the crosshair is going off. I still got one med pack left. I hope this actually is killing him. And I wish I knew how close I was. But I guess I'll just keep firing until he's dead. I guess that's what I'll do. Man. This is going to take a while, ain't it? This is definitely going to take a fucking while. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, that's 34 meters, my guy. I don't know why that matters. Wait, how is that? Oh, okay, I was going to say. I thought it was that was saying, like, the steel right in front of me was 131 meters. Oh. oh okay. That scared the shit out of me. I was like, no, don't lose all the progress. <gasps> I did it. Okay. Can I save now? No. Okay, the one-shotting thing is out of the way. I missed? I missed that. Okay, we've got one more, it looks like. Oh, I'm still combat. Should be right over there. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, actually, let me go to my pistol. Should be right on the other side. What, were you too scared to fight, bitch? Too scared to fight? We gotta go find Garrus. There he is. Garrus! Are you alright, my friend? Let's heal everyone. Y'all are low. Remember to stay hydrated. Thank you. Made, th made it through. I guess we go up here. I guess we go in here. Open sesame. Man, it's almost midnight. It's almost midnight. Okay, cool. Dark tunnel. Whee! I bet you could run so fast down this tunnel. You always forget that gravity can help you run faster. Right, you two? Look at my two little alien buddies. So cute. Oh, we're jammed. Okay. Okay, anything over there? No, no, no. We're just gonna have to kill you. Get out of here, stupid Geth. No one likes you. Oh god, my dog's barking. It's honestly about time I brought her in, so I'll be right back. She'll be mad at me that I'm not giving her dinner yet.
Hello. Hello, I'm back. My face just got very close to the camera. I just... Alright. I'll... Right. Holy shit. Okay. 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 I'm here. I'm here. I'm doing the thing. I'm doing the thing. There you are. Yes. We're doing the thing. Guess snipers don't stand a chance against me. I'm basically a commando. I don't know why it's highlighting these for me. Oh yeah, I guess that is a Prothean ruin when you think about it. Oh, an elevator. Any elevator radio? No? No, I don't get any news from this elevator? Sad. Sad. Damn, Shepard, you've been working out? Damn. So many guns. We are all loaded to the teeth. You come across this gang, you don't want to fuck with them. I don't know what you are. Ooh, a Metagel. Nice, I need one of those. The fuck? Alright. One more. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Garrus. Garrus have some health. Another elevator? Are you kidding me? What is with all the elevators here? Oh. Oh. Just like that time I was in... North Carolina, I think it was. I got stuck in an elevator. And the fire department didn't really give much of a shit. Hello. Can I talk to you? Okay, we're going to talk to you anyway. Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. <laughs> they are at the Sony, I presume. Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for. Listen, I never said I was. Is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it. All right. How'd you end up in there? Yeah. Uh -huh. I was exploring the ruins when the Geth showed up, so I hid in here. Can you believe that? Geth beyond the veil. Eh, we believe it. I activated the tower's defenses. I knew the barrier curtains would keep them out. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Your mother is working with Saren. Whose side are you on? What? Mm. I am not on anybody's side. I may be Benezia's daughter, but I'm nothing like her. I have not spoken to her in years. Okay. Please, just get me out of here. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. Indeed. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't... I, we already to. said this, lady. I'm trapped in here. You must get me out, please. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. I could just walk. That's the tricky part. The defenses may not be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. I see. Hey Rex, aren't you a Krogan? Or am I just being completely mistaken on that? Okay. He should be dead soon. You should be dead, 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 dead. Alright, alright, we need to get down there. We need to move. Wait, mining laser? Oh, area needs to be clear of enemies. I was thinking of using it on the enemies. Running, 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 running. Hello? Can I... Oh, I got a level up. Cool. Cool beans. Oh, there's a rock in between us. Okay. Weapon locker? How nice of them. Oh, so close. 
so close to getting hit there. Um, and anything else over here? Should I activate the mining laser? Or should I not do that? I wonder. Get the team up. Get them up, nice. I guess I should use the mining laser. Um, A, Y, A, A, X, Y, A, X, B, Y, A, X, B, Y. Oh, okay. Okay. Did that work? I see. Interesting. Well, we're under it now. I guess that does help. And we just assumed this was an... Oh, damn, Shepard. God, God damn. God, damn. Shepard. You gotta chill. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Uh. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't try that. Get me out of here before more death arrives. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Okay, let her down. <sighs> how would Shepard know how to use that, honestly? I don't know. But damn, Liara, how you yeah, doing? Yeah, how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I, I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on. I mean, you, you already seem to not really know your way around here. I still here. cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia is involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously, he wants you to help him find it. The conduit? But I don't know. Oh, no. Great. Another boss fight? This is another boss fight? Who was that? These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. Oh, way to go. Okay. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, mister? Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> I love you, Rex. <laughs> Rex, you're my favorite. Right now. I love you. I absolutely love you. Although your glutes could use some work. Your butt, not as good as Shepard's. Definitely not as good as Shepard's. But I don't know if anyone could. Nah. Interesting. Brenda, or don't. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? <laughs> Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. And the doctor over. Yeah, Whatever no. You, want, you are not getting it from me. Is this really the time? The atmosphere is perfect for our life and death struggle. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Deal with his geth. I want to deal with those guys first. Alright, we took this choke point. Which actually might have been a bad idea, but hey! This guy was easy! What the hell? You were easy as shit to kill. Another barrier. Oh, it's over. Barrier's gone. Something's happening. What's about to happen? Something's about to happen. Something bad. I mean, other than the place where that, that, that. Someone's falling. Move, move, move. 
intense. The music is also very low. Garen, Rex, Liara, and Shepard. We're all out. Shepard's still probably not the safest place to be standing. Honestly. The ramp's probably going to go at some point. I guess not. I guess that ramp is sturdy. The ruins, not so much. Close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. Hey. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Shut the fuck up, Joker. You almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes. Joker pulled our asses out of there. I think he's earned the right to a few bad jokes. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. Interesting. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those guests would have. I mean, that's what we thought you were talking about. Saren. Not the volcano. Do you know something about the conduit? Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. How old are you exactly? Yeah, I can't tell. To admit it, but I am only 106. What? Damn. I hope I look that good when I'm your age. A century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. Interesting. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Did your research turn up anything interesting? Anything at all? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. Oh. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. Mm -hmm. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. What cycle? What do you mean? Uh, I don't like the cycles. Is built on a cycle of extinction. Mm. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Mm. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays in the Citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. Wow. This goes back. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Vision. Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. Yes. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. Okay, this isn't helping us find Saren or the Conduit. All right, Ashley, chill. Of course, you're chill your jets. I am sorry. My scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help... Ashley's a jerk. Conduit ...or Saren. I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. I see. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. Welcome aboard. Have you on the team, Liara. So you could be a racist against I aliens in this game? Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion, coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. Still, I like her. Not her to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? 
We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, Sure, Commander. let's talk to them. We've received your report, Commander. I understand Dr. Tassoni is on the Normandy. Indeed. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. The air is on our side. The guests are trying to kill us. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Nah. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Yes. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Protean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? It was. The guests were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Yes. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. I, I guess you could play the guy that ignores the council and is like, I'm gonna be my own guy. Well, I don't know. I feel like, you know, you're supposed to answer answer to the council. You should talk to them every once in a while. Be a bit honest with them. Hey, how you doing, pal? How you doing? Let's go talk to people. Um, Joker's up there. Presley's here. I'm surprised I still haven't found Ashley. Or, like, Garen or Rex. Where are they? Are they in the sleeping pods? Is that what they're doing? Or are they down, down this elevator, maybe? Well, there's Caden again. Dr. Chalkus. Chalkos. Uh, wait, aid station? Replenish Metagel. Alright, anything back here? Anyone back here? Liara, hey! How you doing? Wow, you're tall. Commander, are you coming to check up on me? You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. You're in good hands. Dr. Chakwas knows what she's doing. Chakwas. Weird name. I must name. thank you for saving me from the Geth, Commander. If you hadn't shown up... I'm just glad we got there in time. Indeed. So am I. Yes. I mean, of course you'd be dead. you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. It's but true. But I do not like Venezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. All right. I promise. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Well, what is this? I'd like to talk to you. Tell me about, your about you. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs. Unearthing mundane items buried in long forgotten Prothean ruins. Sounds dangerous. And lonely. And honestly interesting. Sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers. But I was always careful. I mean, you gotta be. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Wow. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. You don't like other people? I don't blame her. I suppose it comes from being the matriarch's daughter. People expected me to follow in Venezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It's the opposite. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Venezia. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Venezia said when I told her of my decision. Ah. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. Makes sense. That is why I find you so fascinating. Oh. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. Sounds like you want to dissect me in the lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. <laughs> Sarcasm. I to you, oh, no I worries. meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Calm down, Liara. I was only joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess, how could I be so Yo, I just relate to Liara so hard now. An utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. 
I always seem to say something embarrassing. Relatable. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. I want to learn more. I'd like to know more about the Asari. We were the first species to discover the Citadel. We were instrumental in forming the Council. And we always strive to be the voice of peaceful cooperation in galactic disputes. Mm -hmm. My people believe we are all part of a single galactic community. Each species contributes something to the greater whole. Yes. Although we seek to understand <coughs> species, it seems few of them seek to understand us. The galaxy is filled with rumors and misinformation about my people. What kind of rumors? Most of the inaccuracies are centered around our mating rituals. My species is monogendered. Male and female have no real meaning for us. We still require a partner to reproduce. This second parent, however, may be of any species. They're just any gender. drawing it right there for you. Your species can mate with anyone? Mating is not quite the proper term. Not as you understand it. Physical contact may or may not be involved. But it is not an essential element of the union. The true connection is mental. Our physiology allows us to meld with other beings. We can touch the very depths of their minds. Ooh. We explore the genetic memory of their species. We share the most basic elements of their individual and racial identities. We then pass these traits onto our daughters. It is how we learn to grow as a species and how we develop a greater understanding of other races. What happens to your partner after the union? Every relationship is different. Some unions are a single encounter with both parents parting ways afterwards. Really? Others can be more long term. Sometimes an Asari and her partner will stay together for many decades. The Asari lived for a thousand years. What happens when your partner dies? Few sapient species live as long as my kind. We have learned to take a philosophical approach to our unions. Ah. We do not focus on the inevitable loss of our partners. Instead, we enjoy the time we spend with them. Aww. And even after they're gone, a part of them lives on in us. The union is a connection that transcends both time and space. That makes that's interesting. chose as her partner. She rarely spoke of her partner, though I know my father, if you want to use that term, was another Asari. You can do that. Is in what? Oh, with another Asari. Venezia never told you her partner's name? Union with our own kind is no longer common. Not for the purposes of reproduction. Most Asari believe it weakens our species. Ow. Asari daughters inherit racial traits from the father species. If both parents are Asari, then nothing has been gained. Or so conventional wisdom would hold. Interesting. I am what is sometimes called a purebred. Though no Asari would ever be cruel enough to say the word to my face, it is a great insult. That's like so backwards from all media. Venezia's partner was embarrassed by their union. She may have been too ashamed to publicly acknowledge me as her offspring. Maybe she wanted to meet you but couldn't. Something could have happened to you. Maybe she passed away. Who knows? Do my Fila. I hope you are. But I have no way to know for This got real. Venezia never spoke of her partner. Whatever happened, it caused her too much pain to dwell on it. She raised me by herself, though that is not uncommon. Mm. Many Asari raise their children alone, particularly if the father species is short-lived. Often the partner will pass on long before the child reaches maturity. Alright, that's about it. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Yeah, we had a big conversation. Hey, Doc. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? Nope. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Again, that's Spectre, you bitch. We're all... I'm a Spectre now. You call me Spectre, and we'd be spectre it up. Hey, Caden. Hey, buddy. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? Still not telling us, Hawk? Official evaluation, Commander. Or off the record. Malenko, when it's just you and me, you can consider it off the record. Aww. That's a generous answer. I think there's something wrong with it all. Mm -hmm. This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. What, we can't get back up from the council? We are back up. Commander, there's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading. The council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. 
It just seems like a group that's been around as long as the council should see this coming. Sorry if I got too informed. Protocol wasn't a big focus on this side. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock, so the kids they hauled in were ranger. Oh. Hauled in, but we were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. <laughs> the worst results of accidental exposure to animal material medium leads to brain tumors some few years ago. I heard all about that. How companies would arrange accidents to expose people to element zero. There was never any proof of that. It's not what happened in my case. That you know of. Downwind of a transport crash. It was before there was human biotics. A little after the discovery of the Martian eels. Oh. It only gets iffy around 63 when Tomato starts running out of first day accessory. Until then, they'd rely on accidentals. Like the guy you see show up at your door after school. Next thing you know, you're out of Jump Zero. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? This is so interesting. The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the books. <laughs> Usually. I'm my own baggage commander. No bearing on this stuff. Alenko, there's no regulation that says you can't be friends with your commander. I appreciate that. I just don't want you to think that I'm a, a whiner. Nope. I've got my path. Alright, we're done talking, I guess. Is there anyone over here? Are they sleeping? Is that what's happening? Can I examine you? Oh, thanks for the experience. Someone was breathing a lot. Nope, I guess not. I guess not. Gotta find out where everybody is. Gotta find out where everybody is. What's over here? Personnel manual. Is this my room? I think this is technically my room. I think that's what this is. Let's go up here. I think the front of the ship is where we haven't checked out yet. Oh, there is that elevator that I don't know what it's to. Time to check it out. I have no idea where this goes. Literally none. I think this is to like the reactor. Does anyone hang out down here? This might be where Rex hangs out because it's warm. I think that's what this is. Oh, there's Garen. There's Ashley. Or Garrus. Hey, buddy. You too, pal. Yeah. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. And tr it's true, it's exactly true. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. Eh, that's not necessarily the case. Their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I do it. I see. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. Makes sense. The handling of Sharon was difficult. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Indeed. So that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside. And so far? Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, then maybe I can get the job done my way. As long as you do your job well, you're free to go about your business as you see fit. Yes. Thank you, Commander. It's what you want. It's important to you. What do you want, guy? Requisition officer. Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? What have you got? Whatever what you have want. you got? Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. No, it's not. Well, as long as you Wait, what did I just say? Why should I pay you for No, I didn't mean to say that. I come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself. I didn't mean to say that. Hell, the licenses alone have sent me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods. I'm out of a job. True. It's Let's very true. You bet, Commander. What? Well, How much do I got? 13,000? Um, light armor. Can I compare? Yes, I can. 
so much better. 136, 4.1, 4, or 23. What is this? Oh. I guess, you know, it is better. I can't afford that. Okay. Okay. I need to go to my equipment. Lancer 3 will be on there. Armor. Did I get more armor? I don't think so. What else did I buy? I think I bought something else. Well, this one is better anyway. Let's go here. Uh, should I be able to switch? I feel like I should be able to switch people. But I can't do it because of my buttons not working. Marksman. Unlock shotguns. Okay. What does this do? Advanced marksman. Um. What do you unlock? Unlock fitness. I guess you unlock first aid. And that means meta gels. Oh, this is an ability. Okay. Let's go. And, okay. Okie dokie. Let's go talk to Ashley and Rex. And then I'll probably call it a day. Shepard, what can I do for you? Personal inquiry. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. You Krogan lived for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few interesting well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. That was fun. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? No. An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? I suppose it isn't all the same. Indeed. I don't expect you to understand. But don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. Sorry, Rex. I wasn't trying to get you upset. Of course not. Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. Oh. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. The genophage infected us. But it's not what's killing us. So long, right? What? That's not what I meant. Shepard. <sighs> what can you tell me about the <sighs> Ask the Salarians if you want details. They made it. The tea. All I know, it makes breeding nearly impossible. Thousands. God damn. Every Krogan is infected. Every one. And no one rushes to find a cure. Why don't the Krogan try to find a cure? When was the last time you saw a Krogan scientist? Fair. You ask a Krogan. Would he rather find a cure for the genophage or fight for credit? He'll choose fight every time. It's just who we are, Shepard. I can't change that. Nobody can. These guys are so deep when you think about it. We're sure not getting any stronger. The two spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. It's in your blood. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. Most of us never go back. All right, have a good one, Rex. Rex. Shepherd. Oh, I can change her stuff here. Cool. Commander, we have a minute to talk. Of course. I keep an open door policy. If you have any concerns, what door? All right. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. 
the Sparks from the Void. Should the pack go access to the ship? Is it? What do you mean? Hillman's words, Chief. What's your concern? This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. Mm. How do you get from relying on ourselves to mistreating our allies? I don't mean we should mistreat them, Commander. I just think we should be prepared to go it without them. As noble as the Council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Not necessarily. I don't see that as inevitable. Look, if you're fighting a bear and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Why? You seem like deeply held beliefs, William. What made you think this way? She is racist. defended the Alliance since it was founded. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. You have to work with aliens. All right. I can see where your concerns are coming from, William. But this is a multilateral mission. You're going to have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which chief. I can start flirting already? Already? Yo, fuck it. We're going for it. Kiss anyone I ordered you to? That depends, sir. If you ordered me to kiss a superior officer, that would be a violation of the regs concerning fraternization. Ah! That would make it an illegal order. I'd be required to decline and relieve you of command. <laughs> sir. It didn't work. <laughs> Should I have auto Oh, you can't autosave. How are we doing? What's your opinion on the last mission? Not sure I'd buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? I believe her. I think she's being straight with us. Or at least, I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. I mean, I am. Want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. Don't be cruel. I don't think she's used to teasing, good-natured or otherwise. No fun, Commander. <laughs> Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. Not impressive. What's your opinion? On okay, this is we're just gonna be recycling. Not sure I'd buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family. Right? All right, just go through. Just go through. Go through. I think she's being straight with us, or at least. I don't yeah. Think... Hey, want me to ask her about her sex life? Might be illuminating. That's between you and her. <laughs> Scuttlebutt says otherwise. Not right. too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands All right, see you. Years. See you, Ashley. That's impressive. We'll talk later, William. Looking forward to it, sir. See you later. All right. Garrus. Wait, we inspect the Mako? Okay. Oh. What's down here? What is down here? Oh, shit. Element Zero Core. Adams, my boy. Commander, you know that Quarian Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. <laughs> Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. I can see why you wanted her to come along. Return. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. Indeed. You got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Fill me in on the IES stealth system. How does it work exactly? You can't hide a ship out in space. They emit too much heat and radiation. Too easy for sensors to pick them up. Unless you find a way to capture those emissions. Hmm. So our stealth systems trap the energy we give off in storage sinks built into the ship itself. No emissions to give away our location. Interesting. Eventually the sinks have to be vented. More than a few hours silent running and they overheat. Cook us inside our own hull. There's no way for anyone to detect us? A visual scanner can still pick us up. Anyone looking out a window can see us plain as day. But you have to be pretty close to get an actual visual out in space. 
Wow, that makes so much sense. I mean, if it's true about how those sensors would work. Um, I'm, I'm gonna be done with this. Ah, uh, there you are, Tally. Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Where does that good? Oh, you can see her eyes. To understand why you humans have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced... Oh, that's a compliment. I love it. That's cute. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. I love you, Tally. You're great. A like this is a dream come true for me. I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. I mean, why wouldn't you? It comes with being a quarry. The migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Makes sense. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the deck. Wow. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work. Mostly. It's so unsettling I can see your eyes. We try to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla. Grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. I want to know more about the pilgrimage. Tally, I think it's the most interesting. Maturity. We leave our birth ships and seek acceptance with a new crew. It's necessary to maintain genetic diversity among the fleet. Before. But no ship wants to accept someone who will be a burden on them. So, to prove our worth, we embark on a pilgrimage. We set out alone, leaving the flotilla and our families behind us. We only return once we have found something of value we can bring back to the fleet. Okay. It's presented as a gift to okay. the respective ships we wish to join. If the gift is accepted, we are welcomed into the crew. I can't believe they just send you to the it's not like they just cast us out. Before we leave, we are given lessons in how to survive outside the flotilla. Oh, okay. That seems better. It's like a Pokemon journey. It's Pokemon! We also receive implants to fight off sickness and disease. Generations of living in an isolated and highly controlled environment have left our immune system... I love that attention to detail. By the time we leave the fleet, we are well equipped for the pilgrimage. This is a rite of passage for all quarries. If it were dangerous, our numbers would suffer. I see. Virtually every pilgrimage ends with a triumphant return and the ritual presentation of the gift to one of oh. the old captains. Can a captain choose to reject the gift? Of course. Uh, that doesn't happen often. Most captains are eager to increase the size of their crew. It increases their own standing in our society. Even when a gift is not particularly valuable, the captain usually accepts it out of a sense of tradition. However, there is a stigma to presenting a substandard gift. I mean, that would make sense. It's the best way to make a good impression on a new community. Most pilgrims don't return until they find something worthwhile. Let's just stop it. I want to talk about something else. Like what? Um, coins. Tell me about your people. Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce. And we are constantly on the move. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million Quarians in the flotilla. And each of us relies on the others for survival. <sighs> the bonds among my people are strong. Unfortunately, we have had to surrender many of the freedoms and civil liberties other species take for granted. Yeah, like what? What kind of freedom? Well... It's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single birth is temporarily repealed. Makes sense. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage more. I mean, that's like what happens on Earth. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. 
That's your government. The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On wow, so it's like Moana. Individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Fortunately, most captains nowadays are smart enough to have an elected captain from their crew to give them advice and guidance. Nice, Demic democracy. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials. In practice, the Conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. Uh. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must... Wow! It's a safeguard that served us well. No corruption. In three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Oh, I think we're good. I don't really need to talk about the Geth. Examine, examine, examine stuff for experience, examine stuff for experience. Alright, let's go talk to Joker, and I think he's like the last person we have to talk to, I'm pretty sure. And I think we're good to go. Did, are we, okay, I was going to say, are we there yet? I thought, it didn't look like we were moving, I was just like, are we done? This way is, nope. I don't know. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Dude, this game is so great. This game is literally fucking amazing. Examine. Thank you for the experience. Experience. Let's look outside. Oh, I can't actually look outside. Give me all that experience. How you doing, Joker? Gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. Fun, fun. That's a good point. <laughs> they probably make me shave too. Yeah. The last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I just want to talk. Know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me. Ah! I'm not good. <laughs> what did he do? I'm the best damn helmsman in the alliance. I didn't look at anything. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. What disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean... You mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Okay, I've got Brolic Syndrome. Brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow. Too much force and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! Very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. I trust Put you. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. I mean, I know about it. Everyone call you Joker. Oh, I wonder why. It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. You're dodging the question. Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. He started calling me Joker, mm -hmm, and it stuck. Well, I love this game for this shit. Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not going to hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. Wow. At the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. Investigate ship status report. Let's go with that. Normandy performance. Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Ah, oh, she's joker. Balance isn't what you expect. Takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and a power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. 
Alright. I have to go. Alright, see ya. See ya. See ya, Joker. Alright, we'll save. We'll save and end this off here. Um, I think... I don't really know what I'm doing next time. Not really sure. Not really sure what I'm going to be doing. But I will be doing something. So let me save here. We'll save there. And uh, I hope everyone who came out had a good time. Even though y'all aren't here. It's sad. But whatever. It was a late night stream anyway. It's 1240 almost in the morning. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your nights. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow for a Hatlock stream.